coronary artery bypass grafts or curbage is performed to improve circulation to the heart muscles in people with severe coronary artery disease. In this procedure, a health artery or vein in another part of the body is connected or grafted to the blocked coronary artery. The grafted artery or vein bypasses the blocked portion of the coronary artery carrying oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscles. One or more coronary arteries may be bypassed during a single operation. During this procedure, the surgeon will begin by making an incision in the skin over the breastbone or sternum. He or she will then cut the sternum and smooth the ribcage in order to get access to the heart. Throughout the procedure, the circulatory system will be connected to a cardiopulmonary bypass pump or heart-lung machine. This machine temporarily performs the functions of the heart and lungs during the surgery, allowing the heart to be stopped while the surgeon sews the graft into place. One of two blood vessels is typically used for the grafts, the internal thoracic artery in the chest or the saphenous vein in the leg. For the internal thoracic artery grafts, the surgeon will leave the upper end attached to the subclavian artery and invades the lower end from the chest wall to the coronary artery just beyond the blockage. The surgeon will then sew the graft into place. For the saphenous vein grafts, the surgeon will suture one end to the aorta and the other end to the narrowed artery just beyond the blockage. With the graft secured in place, the surgeon will use electrical signals to restore the heart beats and attach a temporary pacemaker to the heart. Once the heart is again beating normally, the heart-lung machine will be disconnected. The surgeon will wire the breastbone back together and suture the skin incision closed. A temporary drainage tube will be placed through the skin beneath the incision. Two other types of garbage procedures have recently been developed, off-pump and minimally invasive bypass surgery. Off-pump garbage is also called beating heart bypass grafting because the heart isn't stopped and the heart lung machine isn't used. Instead, a mechanical device is used to study the part of the heart where grafting is being done. Surgeons perform minimally invasive bypass procedures using specially designed instruments inserted through the small incisions or ports in the chest. These procedures sometimes require a heart-lung machine.